Okay, this is the second part. Um, you will see here, this is uh, MATLAB, a user interface, and we will start here with um, a new program and plot and try to plot the rotation of an object. So the object itself has to also be defined, but also we have to define the rotation matrix. And that's actually rather simple. A rotation matrix, we can just define it with, call it R, rotation, rotation matrix. And uh, the rotation matrix has the following components. And probably you remember, uh, that is a cosine of theta. Then we have um, a minus sine of theta. Then we have a um, sine of theta and we have a cosine of theta. So this is um, the rotation matrix and if we uh, have a look, we just select it, press F9, F9 and uh, then the whole thing is evaluated but theta is not yet defined so if we define, let's say, theta um, as um, pi third, for example, and then we plot, we have this one, then we get the following matrix. Rotation is the following matrix. Fine. Good. Now, you already have seen uh, before in a, in a former that we can combine this in a for loop and we can move theta, we can change theta um, in steps. So the following for loop modifies our rotation uh, angle theta from starting from zero and then we go pi fourth to two pi. Pi is already defined in MATLAB and therefore an, uh, a very uh, conveniently just to be used. Now what we want to plot is something, we have an object, R, we want to plot in our unro co uh, unrotated coordinate system, R, and this is the rotation times R prime. Call it R prime. So what is R prime? R prime must be our object, and we defined it before. Okay, and we have here an end. Yeah? So R prime is our object, and I define here just a line. It has a starting point and has an end point. So the yeah, starting point could be start at three um, in X and it has an end point in X, let's say six. And uh, it starts in, in uh, at the position Y, let's say one, and ends at the position Y two. So this is an object which uh, has x and y components and to plot this object you can use the simple command line and for line you need a, a x coordinate so that would be r p and i want only to plot the x compo uh, component then we take the first line and all elements from the first line and the second line is the y component for the line command and this would be only the second line. So it would plot a line from 3, 1, 2, 6, 2. And to see that, we clear first the graph and then we plot this one. And to see that in the whole beauty, I define the axis and let's go from x from minus 8 to 8 and from y goes from minus 8 also to 8. So this is a have a, a constant coordinate system. So to plot this object, we just mark it and then press F9, and then the whole thing is plotted. Now I move it here to the right, just for convenience, and then we have it here on the left side. Okay, now if we do the same thing here in this for loop, and we apply this rotation matrix, then we plot, instead of this line, we plot here, R, not RP anymore, R, and then what I do is, we can, okay, this is all, and then we should actually get the whole thing plotted at the different positions. Now, 
let's try and give it a uh, run this thing and we call give this um, a name call this one test rod and then we change the directory and then you see this is now plotted at the different rotations and you can play around you can play you can a hundred and then it plots many many of the um, of these lines uh, or maybe even a thousand you see that this is isn't a problem for MATLAB to plot so just in summary I'll go, go quickly over the code again in the first line CLF is the command to clear a figure you can look for this command if you don't know it just type in help and then the command CLF and you will find this is the command it says clear current figure CLF RP is our object and let's look what is RP RP is a matrix 3, 6, 1, 2 and I use the upper part the, 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 the upper part as the x component and the lower part as the y component of a line. The second line, the third line here, plots this thing and uh, uh, as a line. This is the x component. This is the y component. And if you don't, if you're not sure about line command, nothing more easy than just help. And you will find help. It creates a line with x and y. X and y and x and y can be uh, vectors which it is now. Axis plots or fixes the axis from minus 8 to 8 in x direction, from minus 8 to 8 in y direction. The first two are x, the second two are y direction. Now we have a, a for loop, that is a statement in uh, MATLAB, a for loop, and it changes the variable theta, which goes from 0 to 2 pi, and this is the step size. We started with a uh, 4 pi over 4. The next line defines rotation matrix for an angle theta which is given here. Then the rotation matrix is applied to our object RP and then we plot this object, this rotated object. And therefore we get, we start with this one, this is the second, third, fourth, five, six, seven, eight object which is plotted. Now for a for loop is at the end when it reaches the end command, it starts again with a 4 and it increases theta by these pi uh, quarters until it reaches to pi. Therefore, we get 8 of these elements. At the end, the whole thing is plotted. And if I want only to plot uh, half of the circle, I start with pi. And then you see that we have only half of the circle plotted. That is pi is the first is this one, this is the second, this is the third, this is the fourth, and this is the fifth. And just to make sure, we just plot it the first one. And um, and we see this is the first one from the first line. And if I want to omit this one, you see we plot only this one. Well, two times pi plot the last one. This ends the E exercise on rotational matrices and the next E exercise will be using this rotational matrices to derive the Newton's equation in a, ro a rotating coordinate system. A rotating coordinate system is not anymore an inertial frame of reference therefore Newton's equation are as such not valid however we can uh, we will find that in a rotating coordinate system additional forces come into play which are just due to this rotational matrix see you soon